Okay, welcome back to Herodotus Gaming. We have just got to the fourth bonfire. Um, so we're going to show you what to do next. Alright, we're going to head downstairs. You'll hear that little hammer going. It's like, I think he's like the king of a store or something. He's just down here hammering shit. Let's look at him. Yeah, you can modify equipment, reinforce weapon, armor, repair equipment, purchase item. You, you can even learn a gesture from it. And there we go, repair everything. Okay, we're gonna also learn gesture. He teaches you hurrah, or whatever it is. We're gonna actually purchase item, see if there's, we gotta figure out a way if there's to sell or something. We have uh, titanite shards. We already have a few of those. You can use it to uh, reinforce your armor or your weapon. So, I don't think we're going to do that yet. We don't have good enough weapon uh, armor to do that. Okay, so... Get yourself killed. Neither of us. There's a titan down there. We'll... That's to continue the main. No. Yeah, that's to continue the main. But, uh, no, it's not. We don't know. We don't know. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna go this way. Uh, we'll continue. I'll show you where to go. We're gonna talk to this guy here. Hmm. Hmm. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarine. Quite honestly, I've run flat up a, or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't fire, no matter how long I wait. And oh, so here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> he doesn't really do anything yet. But I assume it's to get to the next area for the second bell. Right now we're in the first area. We're trying to find a way to ring this first bell. I don't know. It's the pilgrimage thing of the... It's the prophecy or whatever. So we got to ring the first bell and then the second. This area we're in, we're going to do the first. So I'm going to show you that. <sighs> okay, we're going to head back this way. can roll upstairs, which is pretty impressive. Nice jumping stab. Another titanite shard. Those are always useful. Okay, so... Here's the, um, mini-boss. He's a huge ass defensive guy. He's got this huge shield and sword, so you just gotta get him when he's slow when he does a big hit, because he's pretty slow in general. See, there he is. We're gonna bring him out here into the courtyard, make it easier. You're gonna wanna roll a lot, stay out of his way, because his hits do end up doing a pretty good amount of damage, so. When he does the front attack like that, that's when you wanna hit him. Sometimes he did it twice or three times. Oh! Okay. Just like that, he did it twice. Smashed me. But you see, he's almost dead. Just gotta wait him out. Gonna roll out of that way. Just gonna wait for him. And stab him. Oh, shit. There we go. We get another titanite shara. Damn, we're getting a lot of those. Anyways, we're gonna head back inside. I'm gonna grab this thing. It's a firekeeper soul. Can't really remember, but I, it gives you either five or ten souls. Uh, not souls. Uh, humanity. Okay, but we're gonna head over here real quick. I'm gonna.
Use a potion, yeah, after we got smashed. Gonna have to kill this knight again to get past him. Kill him before he heals. Kill this spear guy again. Oh, come on. You dick. Okay, hit him. Let's just get him. Okay, there you go. Come on, come on. <sighs> now he hits. Wow. Frick. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go left. And, um... To the right, it, in that building is where we just killed the mini boss. If you come over here, we 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 did the shortcut so you didn't have to kill those other two knights inside. So don't go in there unless you want to kill a few knights. It's your choice. Stab him. There we go. Another titanite shard. And over here is a key. We're gonna, wait, wait, and that, no, an axe. Down by the gate is the key. There you go. This unlocks the door back at the, um, where the dragon was. You know, you hide in the door on the left, but there's another locked door to the right. This is going to be especially important for the thief or the wanderer. Because if you go down there, you'll fight a few dogs, open up a door, and there will be an entire thief's outfit set that you can loot. Um, we're not going to do that because it doesn't have any use to us, so we're going to skip that. Uh, we'll show that later on a thief character that I made. We'll, uh, we'll video that show you how to do that, but just a heads up for now. Okay, we're gonna head back inside here where there'll be another mini boss. He's more of a magic user. He's um right up there. So we're gonna go around and lure him down here. Watch out around the corner, there's another fast knight. Okay, just bring him back down into some open space, it might be easier. If he follows, okay. And we got this. Pretty easy. There we go. Need that potion. Okay, we're gonna head upstairs now. Okay, so you're gonna come into this room and just pull him. You're just gonna barely enter the door and then run all the way back down into the courtyard. Because he sends 15 or so. No, not 15, around 10 zombies after you. So, you're gonna want some open space for that. That room in there is an elevator that you'll take down, but we're not gonna do that yet. Because we're not done up here. It leads back to the, um, the. all the way back to the beginning, so. Where the um, giant ass crow dropped you off, so. I think there should be more. No, I guess that's it. That was actually pretty easy. Oh no, we were right. <laughs> wow. That's all of them. God damn it. Oh, there's even more. Okay, let's get these idiots. You can use your um, quick hit. It will kill them pretty fast. And one hit, that's all it takes. So enter the room. And then we're going to run all the way back down again.
Okay, so we fast forward to that because um you're gonna because you hide behind the pillar and you cast like ten spells, so it takes forever, so we just quickly fast forward that. So he's gonna cast the spells, you're gonna hide behind the pillar, and then you're gonna run out and you're gonna start hitting him when he gets close. See we just hide behind this pillar, drink our potion, and then we just start attacking when he gets close. Make sure you block his hit and it's a simple just attack again and it's he's really easy to finish off. So, um, yeah, he didn't even give us anything for that, which kind of blows, so, we're going to continue back to where we were, right up in this room, and, um, that mysterious key that we found a little while back is going to come in handy, but first you're going to go this way and attack this knight. And if you can, um, avoid attacking on stairs. It's really um, hard to, uh, you know, kind of block their hits because they'll go over or under you. So just to play it safe, try not to fight on the stairs. And as soon as I say that, he backs up to the stairs. Okay, easy. Now we're going to continue. <sighs> and we're going to break this door. And we're gonna go up these stairs. And the mysterious key is to help this gold knight. Then I am in luck. As you can see, I am. So we open it and we help him. So he basically says he'll give us a reward later. And that reward is coming up like right now. We're going to go into this other room, and, um, yeah, just watch. We're going to head down this way. We're going to go straight. And into this room, I think it is, yeah. Into here. Grab this soul. Going to go left. And then take another left, I think. Yeah. Wait, um... Yeah, okay, so I think we're gonna head back. Yeah, we're gonna head back to the um, uh, bonfire, so I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit because we need full 10 potions to actually um, defeat this next boss that's coming up. Okay, thank you for watching. We are Hero Donus Gaming. In the next video, we'll show you the next boss.